Hey YouTube, just wanted to bring you a couple updates about the channel and how I'm going to be running things before I bring you this battle. I wanted to ask people on the different forums just what I could do to make this channel better, what I could do to increase my quality to really get more subscribers. How can I, you know, bring this channel to maybe not the level of Jay Witch or Pokemon Dan or anything like that, but bring it to a respectable number of subscribers rather than, you know, just a few handfuls of you that I have. Not that I don't love you guys. A lot of the things that I heard were stuff like better quality of both uh, recording software and just camera stuff. But I also heard some stuff that was actually related to content, which is nice too. I heard that people wanted me to make my videos maybe a little bit more beginner friendly, just that I could attract a bigger base and by appealing to them, you know, I could bring more people into the game, which is definitely a good thing and something that I think Jay Wiz and Pokemon and Dan and Top Cut, Pokemon, and people like them have done a great job doing. So I'm going to try and work to do more of that. Another thing that I want to do, and I didn't hear too much about this, but I decided that it's a good idea, is more uh, discussion-based stuff. I feel like the Top Cut guys have a really great format going, and I don't necessarily want to steal their format, but uh, there's definitely a lot that I think I could kind of borrow from that and change it a little bit, but still something similar discussion-wise. Also, deck profiles are nice. I haven't really done many of those. I know I have one on a separate YouTube channel uh, for Team Saki, one of my friends, Eric Shen. I recorded it for him. But aside from that, I really haven't done much other than battles and than just a qu quick couple of update videos. So that's some stuff that I'm going to be working towards doing. If there's stuff that you want to see or stuff that you think I should change, just let me know in the, in the comments below. and. You know, I'll try to do my best. I'll respond to them then and there. I'm not getting too many comments. I don't have a ton of subscribers. And I really think, you know, I could change this channel doing a couple things and make it a lot more solid and hopefully up my subscribers and just overall quality content. So let's get into this matchup. I decided to be more beginner friendly. I'm actually going to talk about the Pokemon used in both decks and really how this matchup is going to work. I am playing uh, a deck that I really got excited about for Next Destinies, and this is Next Destinies format, I didn't mention that before, but uh, it's called Mewtwo and Friends, or Mewtwo Celebi, it's got a lot of names buzzing around. Uh, the deck is really an update of the big basic decks we saw uh, around uh, Noble Victory City's time. My deck is running uh, some of these really big Pokemon, including a couple of the new EX Pokemon, uh, just to name the big attackers, Mewtwo uh, from Next Destinies, he's an EX, Tornadus from Emerging Powers, Terrakian from Noble Victories, and Shaman EX also from Next Destinies. Now, the thing that really makes this deck work is its engine, which is an energy acceleration engine, a little bit different than the ones we've seen before, like Typhlosion and Electric. This is actually using a basic Pokemon, Celebi Prime from Triumphant, an often forgot about card that I mentioned in my video on the five comeback cards that uh, would get better with this set coming out, and Sky Arrow Bridge. Sky Arrow Bridge lets you um, retreat your basic Pokemon for one less cost. This gives Celebi, as well as a few other Pokemon in the deck, a free retreat, as long as the stadium is out. By playing this and Switch, I'm able to get Celebi leaves by running a high count of them, Open with, and by opening with Celebi, I can attach an extra Grass Energy by using his Poke Power Forest Breath. This, combined with double colorless energy, allows me to attach high amounts of energy with little setup, giving me some donk potential and a really strong early game, and with cards like Shaman EX and Mewtwo EX, a still a really strong late game for an overall very consistent deck that's really fun to play. Now, my opponent Mark is playing probably his favorite deck of all time, which is uh, V3 Vanillax Victini Bileton. This deck focuses on Vanillax for Noble Victories, and his attack Double Freeze. Double Freeze is a really nice attack. Um, for a Water and a Colorless, it does 40 times the number of heads flipped from two coins, which doesn't sound that great, but when you factor in the fact that if either one of them is heads, you're going to paralyze your opponent, it gets pretty good. Not only this, but he runs Victini with it. Victini lets you reflip uh, the attack effects of coins. This brings uh, Vanillix's per paralyzed percentage from 75 to about 94-ish, somewhere around there. I've done the calculations before. I found them on the internet. Uh, you can do the math yourself, or you know, you can check it out. Uh, I'll probably post it in the D-Box, because I'm not remembering it off the top of my head. 
combine all of this with the fact that you're on Vileplume to lock your opponent out of trainers like Switch, and you've got a really strong deck. Now, this deck existed around City Championships, and I had a couple friends who run it with some good success, but the deck gets an update with Next Destinies in that a new Vinlux is printed, and Mark is definitely running this one. Uh, it's its uh, ability, Slippery Soul, uh, mirrors that of Warp Point from our last format. This is really nice because under Trainer Lock, he can keep the lock continuously going with Paralysis, meaning that you're not going to be able to attack until he takes a prize. So this is a really effective deck that is really exciting to see, and it's going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, I'm playing a really fast deck, but I'm really hurt by Trainer Lock. I run really heavy Trainer lines. Uh, my draw supporters are boosted by Poke Gears and drop significantly when he gets the Vile Plume on the field. But I'm a lot faster than him. I can take a big prize lead. Uh, I have stuff like Shaman EX and Mewtwo EX, which can one-shot Vinox once they're set up, which is really nice. And it's just a really close matchup, so we'll have to get into it. Hey guys, glad you could join me for this little battle. Uh, as you can tell by the length of the video, it's not going to be too long. I'm on the right with the purple sleeves, and Mark's going to be on the left in the black. Uh, we're just laying out our prize cards and everything here. Um, we each start with one basic. Mark puts up some little sign that says something to the effect of double freeze all day, every day. Uh, I think it was backwards because of my webcam. This is the last match I'll be recording using that webcam. I flip and I win the flip. I lead uh, with Tornadus and he leads with Victini. It's a little hard to tell because of the glare there, but no, it's the only fire Pokemon in that deck. I play down the Sky Arrow Bridge, it's a proxy uh, at the moment, this is before my pre-release, I didn't have any, and I attach an Eevee Light to Tornadus. Uh, the Eevee Light will be nice, it's dumping trainers out of my hand, and it'll uh, make his double freezes do a lot less, and after that I'm forced to pawn. Um, right now I'm looking to get a Switch, a Salibi, and uh, some energy just to kind of accelerate myself and be able to take some prizes, hopefully turn two, or if, you know, my hand is really perfect, I could potentially donk given I hit a Celebi, a Switch, a DCE, and a Grass Energy. I know that's a lot to ask, but I run relatively high counts of um, all of those, actually. Uh, three Switch, four DCE, four Celebi, and eight Grass Energy. So, could happen. I just flashed the Sky Arrow Bridge there because I didn't show it initially and I wasn't sure I'd be able to remember what it was. And... Looking at what I hit, I don't think I got it. Um, we do see an Eevee Light in there. I attached the double colorless energy to my Tornadus, and hmm, I think that's about all I can do, so I pass. Mark also placed down some sort of shuffle draw. I believe it's another Pont. Uh, the light's really bad in here, actually. I hadn't really seen this video before now, but um, Definitely going to have to do something about the glares. But um, Mark's in a pretty bad situation in that you know, he's using, he doesn't have the collector, so he doesn't really have any guaranteed basics, and he's probably going to have to lose something next turn, and it's really going to be hard to set up. He doesn't want to lose Victini in case his other one's prized. Uh, that would really hurt his ratios. So I'm going to attach the grass, and I'm going to be able to hurricane for game. Sorry guys, I know that's a short one, it's a donk, but um, that was the first game of the series, and I should be bringing you the next two soon, and uh, thanks for watching, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, do your thing guys, I'm out.